So I just literally finished recording a Payday 3 video about who I think the two unrevealed characters are for Payday 3's launch, and as I hit the stop recording button, Starbreeze upload a video, and it's one of the coolest videos I have ever seen them upload, and I'm not being dramatic here. It's called Do Time to Get Time Teaser, and what they're doing is offering, I think, one person the chance to get flown out to Sweden to play Payday 3 early. Sound familiar? I can't believe they're doing this, but it's such an amazing thing. They've got a video here with Dragomir, who plays Dragon, basically as if talking to you and going, are your stats good enough to be the one to play, blah, blah, blah. There's also a website and terms and conditions. So what I want to basically do is for anyone wondering, go over the teaser, so I'll play that in a second, but also explain the terms and conditions and what you need to do to apply in case you're not at home yet and want to know whether it's for you, that kind of thing. So let's start by first off rolling the teaser because i got to show it. It's so blooming cool. So let's start with that. Here's Dragomir's little clip for due time to get time. I'm 1,400 heights, around 80,000 helmets popped. You really think that's enough? Enough to be the one who plays Payday 3 before anyone else? <laughs> you think that's enough? This, this is shit. I want the best. A legend. A proper high, sir. Someone who will stop at nothing. You look too weak. Someone who will literally go to prison. Mommy, mommy, help me. To play Payday 3 first. Are you willing to do time to get time? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Apply. Fresh fish. If you think you can handle it. Next. That's the clip, so here is the website, you can click the link, it'll also be in my description to make life easier for you guys, but it says, are you willing to go to prison just to play Payday 3? That's the deal. Fill out the application and we'll select the most suitable, most accomplished, most daring from among you heisters to come to Sweden and be among the first to play Payday 3. I've looked at the application process, I'm obviously not applying myself. You need to supply basic information, date of birth, that kind of thing. You have to be 13 or older to apply. You need to give your Steam profile ID, it's very important, I'll explain why in a second. And you'll also be required to upload a video, a 30 second and ideally not more than clip of just you saying who you are and why you think you should be selected. Try and give some reasoning. So what I think would be very useful is to read through the T's and C's with you guys because there's not much here and I think it's worth reading through so you can see what you can accept, expect from it and also just get an idea of what might be a good thing to say in the video. Who knows? So, the participant will be selected based on two factors. First off, your Payday 2 Steam stats. Unfortunately, that means console heisters have kind of been shafted on this one, which... <sighs> I'm not going to say much about it. It sucks. It really, really does. But it does says it's based on that and also the submission video. So if you upload a good enough submission video and argue you're a console player, they may still pick you. So I'm not making any assumptions as to whether they're just picking PC people. It could be if you say in your video, you've got your stats and you could back them up maybe. That'd be cool as well. So please do try that. I don't want the console heisters feeling left out. But it's picked on your Steam stats and the submission video. They're the influencing factors here. They're the things that matter most to them when you apply. Aside from that, it gives you some information about what the selected participants or participants, whoever it may be, will get to do. You will take part in a marketing event in a prison in Sweden. I don't know how you pronounce the place names. I'm not even going to say it. On the 5th of September 2023, which is approximately two weeks before Payday 3 launches. It's just under two weeks before the early access starts on Silver and Gold Edition. So it's really in the kind of lead up to the game's release. The selected participant will need to be available during this time period and be able to travel to the location and have a valid visa to enter Sweden. So passport, visa, whatever you've got. It then says that flights, accommodation and meals for the event will be paid for by Starbreeze. So don't worry about paying for anything in regards to that. It's the same as what happened for us when we flew to Sweden. We had our flights and accommodation paid for. A bit of the food we paid for ourselves, obviously, because we kind of consented to go. So that was a, an acknowledgement from us. But they did pay for one of the meals for us, which was cool. So whatever. But you will have all of it paid for. There'll be no doubt there. So if you don't have any money and you can't afford this normally, you are still very much within the play here don't worry about that beyond that there's just some legal jargon here that says you know they have the right to withdraw and all that stuff and you have to pay any taxes if anything applies there it's just there for the sake of you know being there for t's and c's but that's the most interesting stuff to me based on your game stats and your submission video and you will go to a prison in sweden you'll play the game to about two weeks early and you'll also have all your flights combination and meals paid for i wonder if they'll take you to the studios if that's the case maybe they'll set up the whole thing to play payday 3 within the prison as well because it sounds like there's going to be some kind of cool little role-playing thing going on where you're going to get locked up and maybe meet some of the people who work on the game, whatever. I don't know what they're planning here, but this is very cool. I'm almost a little bit jealous of you guys because of the whole prison setup. It sounds very, very brilliant. So 
I'm excited to see what comes of this. But like I said, you've got seven days to apply. The application closes at the time of recording in just under seven days. I'm going to get this video up as soon as I can, so that will still apply. Link will be in the description. Go and submit all the information necessary. Record your video. Give it a bit of thought if you need to. You have got a little bit of time, but don't leave it too long in case you forget. But ladies and gentlemen, that is Do Time to Get Time's campaign for Payday 3. Very, very exciting. I'm really glad to see them doing something like this and just making that trailer for it was awesome. So we're going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. Good luck to everyone who applies. I really would love it for me to be someone from my community who gets it and that'd just be such a cool thing but whoever it is you're in for a treat i think it's gonna be an amazing thing and i'm so excited to see what comes of it i really really am so good luck everybody whether you're a regular viewer on this channel or not may the best person win i really can't wait to see what happens here but if you are new around here and want to be part of this community feel free to click that subscribe button we're always talking about payday 3 news to the fact that where this campaign got announced i derailed my video plans there you go. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed and subscribe if you're new and make sure to follow me on all my socials if you want to keep in touch. Discord.gg slash Red Live, Twitter Red Arch Live, all that stuff. And Twitch, I'll be live playing Payday 2 later today and no doubt talking about this. Twitch.tv slash Red Live. But apart from that, yeah, I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video. Until then, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.